What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the Holger 556 and give you one of my best class setups for this weapon. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. There's a lot of weapons in Modern Warfare 3, but I think as of right now, the Holger 556 assault rifle may be one of the best in game. This is the current setup I'm running. I'm going to show you a different setup. It gives you a little bit more mobility. But let's go over this one first. The Cassius Break, which is going to give you horizontal recoil and firing aiming stability with that aim down sight con. Then we're going to have the Bruin Heavy Support Grip, which is going to give you gun kick control, aiming idle sway, horizontal recoil, fire, uh, firing aiming stability. Of course, the cons are going to be aim down sight and vertical recoil. How you unlock the Bruin Heavy Support Grip is getting the Striker. I think it's to level 8, but it may be 11. But uh, either way, you can unlock that Bruin Heavy Support Grip when you uh, rank the Striker SMG up. Then I go with the High Velocity Ammunition, which is going to give you bullet velocity, but a little bit less damage range, which does not really hurt at all. Uh, then I'm going to go with the RB uh, assault stock, which is going to give you more recoil control, gun kick control, and aiming uh, aim down sight speed con. And then last but not least, whatever optic you prefer. I like the slate uh, reflector. Just remember, most of these red dots, unlike Modern Warfare 2, will not hurt your ADS. So if you want to use a red dot, uh, that will definitely be viable for anyone that you would like to use. If you get into some of the larger sites, that's where you're going to start seeing the cons of running that larger site. Now this, of course, is going to be a slower kind of handling weapon. Mobility is not awful, but it's not the fastest. In my opinion, though, compared to Modern Warfare 2, where you felt like you had to have everything with fast ADS speed, considering the time to kill was so quick, in Modern Warfare 3, there's 150 health on all players, and it feels like accuracy is more important to me now than aim down sight speeds in most gunfight situations. So that's kind of why I like to run this weapon, uh, you know, with this setup. But if you want something that's a little bit faster, something that you can use, you know, that's not quite as slow, you can drop the uh, muzzle brake here and you also can drop uh, either the assault stock or the grip, depending on how you want to handle this. You can drop the grip and go with a laser, but I would probably recommend just changing the grip out to a different grip we have available to us. And that's going to be the... Uh, Phantom 5 hand stops. So if you put the Phantom 5 hand stop on there, and of course that's going to show that you have that sprint to fire speed, aim down sight, vertical recoil, and gun kick control with the cons of horizontal recoil and hip fire tech stance speed. And also to keep in mind, if you're on a console or PC or whatever platform that you're on playing Modern Warfare 3, you actually can see details of each individual attachment once you're on the attachment section here. And it kind of, kind of shows you exactly what the gun is. Uh, what the attachment does to that weapon for damage, range, fire rate, accuracy, recoil control, mobility, and handling. This is a very handy tool to use here if you're trying to build you know, your kind of perfect loadout. And the other thing that I would do here if you want this to be a little bit quicker would be go to the rear grip and go with the intruder grip, which is going to give you sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed with the cons of recoil and flinch resistance. Uh, so you kind of can see the range, the accuracy, the recoil control, the handling, the handling is a lot better than it was uh, with the previous setup. This is not a bad setup either. I only I kind of feel like it's at a distance is not as good. It's kind of hard to hit those long range shots unless you have a lot better accuracy than I do, which a lot of you probably do. But I feel like this is definitely more of an aggressive style class. So if you want something that's aggressive, try this out. If you're wanting to, uh, you know, like I said, go with something that's a little bit more of a, I guess kind of turret style class where you're just kind of holding down locations not really having to move around the map a ton i would recommend kind of going with the first setup with that brewing heavy grip and that cassis break that's going to give you better recoil control a lot better accuracy at range and you pretty much like i said can just sit there and be a mobile turret and just move around from spot to spot and just locking down areas and it works extremely well anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts let me know what your favorite weapons in modern warfare 3 are so far let me know what rank you're at and of course, let me know if you're enjoying the game and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.